Hello guy, I've just received their first shipment of Tello drones from a company called Rise Robotics, which is a startup in Shenzhen, China. The drone combines components from DJI and also Intel to make a fantastic little quadcopter. In this video, we're going to take a first look at the drone and also give a review of what we think of its features and functions. So let's get right in with the specifications of this drone. Now the main purpose of this drone is definitely not aerial videography or photography. The drone is aimed at a younger audience and is fantastic for training new pilots as well. So with the battery and propellers included, the aircraft weight is about 80 grams. Now this is fairly light compared to something like a DJI Spark or a Mavic. Even though the drone is so light and small, it still packs a punch with a 720 video feed back to your phone. It can also tell you how far the drone is away from you and also has an intelligent battery to tell you how much of the battery charge you've got left. Depending on what you're doing with the drone, it averages about 11 to 13 minutes flight time. Even with a drone this small, it still packs a punch with its camera. It can capture images at 5 megapixels and also capture 720p video recorded directly to your phone. So in the box, when you first receive your teller, you're going to be getting the drone, a battery and four spare props. You also get propeller guards pre-fitted and a tool to get the propellers off the drone. You can always buy spares by going onto the HeliGuy website and clicking the Tello drone department. Now when we got our Tello out of the box, it wasn't really charged that much, so you want to make sure that you fully charge the drone before taking it out to fly. When you first turn on your Tello drone, all you're going to have to do is connect to the Wi-Fi network in your Wi-Fi settings. Once you've done that, you can launch the Tello app, do any upgrades on firmware you need to do, and then you can get it up in the air. Some tips and tricks we picked up when you first get your Tello is you want to start off in a big open room. This allows you to get used to the controls of the drone. We also tested a few of the Tello's features. This included 360 mode, circle mode, up and away, and also hand launch as well as using the 8D flips features. We're going to put some images up on screen now of us testing these and they actually work really well and you can control them really easily from the app. put some images on the screen now of a comparison between the Tello and the Spark. Now the DJI Spark is DJI's most inexpensive drone and is fantastic progression from the Tello. As you can see from the footage, the Spark is much more stable with its footage, but that's because it has a mechanical gimbal. The Tello doesn't have a mechanical gimbal and only uses digital stabilization, which is clearly visible by the footage. Just a reminder that this drone definitely is not aimed at videographers and photographers. It's aimed at people who are just getting into the drone market and want something to train on, as well as younger people. In summary, the Tello drone is an absolutely fantastic option for people wanting to learn how to fly drones. It's stable in the air and easy to control, and you can also customize it to what you want. The Tello is also a great option for people in education, as you can control it by using a coding software called Scratch. Now schools across the UK definitely use Scratch, and we'll be looking into doing a video on this on the future of how to set it up. Through the next coming months, we will be releasing more content on the Tello, so please do stay tuned for that. And you can also go out and check our blog at heliguy.com blog for more information about the Tello. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.